Now he's, he's blocking my way. Look at that. That's Hi. illegal. That's Hi. holding me against my will. Hi. Not going to have somebody hold me against dude, my you're will. Just, you're on me, dude. No, I'm dude, you here. cannot legally do that. You're standing on me. No, I'm trying to go around you it and you keep matter. getting in front of me. I you're can't wait. To po- I cannot wait to post this online. Post oh, it. Dude, TikTok's going to blow up because of this one. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. And this guy in the blue vest is Chuck, a Colorado Springs Walmart employee. He is trying to block the customer, Travis, from leaving. Here's my receipt. Now you're, imp- now you're holding me hostage against my will. Yo, can you go get the manager? Travis, who posted the video on his TikTok, says the confrontation began with this. The cashier that I went to was closest to the exit where Chuck was working. There's no doubt in my mind that Chuck did not see me just leave the cashier. On my way out, I'm on the phone. Chuck wants to see my receipt. I tell Chuck, thank you. I just don't have time today. And I tried to walk past him. Chuck jumps in front, puts his hands on my car. We can stand here all day. You're underpaid, man. It's cool. It's all I good. get it. Yeah, you're underpaid. I get it. You're mad at life? A security guard eventually looked at the receipt. You cannot physically touch me. And I've been recording the whole... Yes, you did. You? Oh, I got it. bounced into me, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Then Travis went on his way. I purchased my things. I wanted to leave. I was on a time crunch. I had the right to leave. However, Walmart confrontation seemed to be a growing trend. Yeah, but this is 376. There is anecdotal evidence that the discount retailer, in an effort to cut down on shoplifting, is carrying out more demands for receipts and more questioning of customers. Never fail. Always happen to us. Deal. All the people that went before us, stopped. Nobody else. As this black couple noted in a post from the T-shirt God, some Walmart stops, including theirs, feel like racial profiling. So we're at Walmart, spent $328, and they're trying to say we didn't pay for some potato chips. Really? That's right, the couple spent over $300. Then we just spent $328. But one of the ladies at the exit door didn't see the line item on the receipt for a bag of potato chips. So 20 minutes of our life, we can't get back because she's looking for chips. Well, I don't find it on the receipt. Call the manager then, call somebody because at this point I'm irritated. Okay. I'm going home <laughs> with my groceries. These are those chips. Now they arguing over the chips. Now she says thank you. Being in America black, that's all that shit is, being black. With all of the apparent suspicions at retail stores, a San Diego lawyer has found that using a self-scanner line is often a recipe for disaster. Don't ever use a self-checkout line. It's the easiest way for you to catch a theft charge. Walmart denies that it engages in racial profiling or is more apt to level a theft accusation against people who use the self-checkout line. But across the United States, theft prevention managers say the pressure on employees to cut down on shoplifting is growing and that the confrontations with customers are intensifying. So always keep your camera phone handy. There is no Walmart policy that prevents you from recording your checkout experience or interactions with staff at the exit door, and cameras have a way of making most people behave more politely. Plus, if somebody is impolite or unfair, the consequences can include internet and social media shame. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.